In this video, we're going to show you how to use New Relic's PathPoint to model business journeys. PathPoint allows you to visualize the relationship between technical performance and business outcomes based on telemetry in the New Relic platform. The simple UI allows you to organize signals in groups related to the stage or step of your business journey. Customers in a wide variety of industries have implemented PathPoint to model their business journeys. Here are only a few examples. They range from hotel or hospitality, cruise airlines, rideshare applications, uh, and really the sky's the limit when it comes to what sort of industries will work with PathPoint. Here are some examples of some high-level journeys for a few example industries. Note that the stage names for PathPoint are usually things that are very uh, human readable, understandable by a wide variety of people in your organization. They are not necessarily associated with anything particularly te uh, technical. For example, in the hotel industry implementation, the stage names are browse available rooms, book a room, check in and stay, and check out. Now, as we drill in further, uh, we'll get to more technical signals, but we start from the top down. This rideshare example gets broken down further into steps. So under the book stage for this rideshare application, we see login, search, set pickup, set destination, etc. These are also not technically named. These are not the, the lowest level signals, but this helps set the uh, scaffolding or the uh, superstructure for PathPoint. When you're selecting the lower level signals, we recommend starting from the customer inward or the business experience inward. So for example, if you have a mobile application for your rideshare app, we suggest focusing on those transactions that a customer directly interacts with. For example, for a login step, you may consider these metrics. A JavaScript error rate for a login page action, the overall latency for the login, etc. Finally, you might get back to health of databases that are supporting the login activity, but ultimately starting with the user uh, is, is the way to go. In this very simple example that I'm going to show you, uh, I implement a basic e-commerce flow. Notice that the stages are named shop, order, notify, deliver. Underneath, we see the actual signals. These can be entities or alerts coming from telemetry in the New Relic platform. Notice that in playback mode, I can actually go to a specific moment in time. So for example, I might want to see what was happening on January 1st for a certain part of the day. I may have had an incident. I may have had customers calling in about some problems. So I want to basically jump back in time and see what was going on. And I can see that my browser and my uh, card experience were read at that time. Clicking on them, we can see that there are critical issues that are now closed, but I can go back and see the full context of what is actually going on. Exiting playback mode, now I'm seeing the current state. It's very easy to export this flow as a JSON and re-import this flow to create a related flow or put it into a different account. Also, we can see who has been editing the PathPoint flow using the audit log. Creating signals or adding signals is really quite straightforward. If I simply go into edit mode and I go to update signals, I can choose from the full spectrum of entities and alerts that are in my platform. So for example, if I go to the alerts tab, I can start by selecting the alert policy of interest, or I can just simply start searching by condition names. I can also see what I already have selected for that step in my business journey. I'm going to exit edit mode. Also note in my PathPoint view at the bottom row, I see what are called flow KPIs or journey KPIs. These are also derived directly from telemetry uh, from the New Relic platform. I'm getting total revenue, dropped revenue, average card total, abandoned carts. These are all coming from augmented APM transactions where I've got some custom attributes that tell me the card value. So whenever a purchase transaction is executed, I know what the value of that is. Or when there's an error on a purchase transaction, uh, I know what the value, so potentially dropped revenue. We encourage you to install PathPoint today, play around with it, see how you can map your telemetry onto your business journey and visualize it in a completely novel way. The links in the description are going to show you how to install PathPoint from the New Relic application catalog, also link you to the documentation and some blog posts related to PathPoint.